running this bit down in there it kind of cooks the sides like clay so I, I think we're done for the year especially well I think we're done for the year on these berms that have been in place for a few months I don't think I'm gonna be able to do these we'll run the water and just oh, there's still water here from last night we'll run the water just uh, soak them and soak them and soak them and see if we can make them do something different maybe tonight. The thing is, when you think you're watering right, I sprayed this down for a few minutes. Like I stood here for about five minutes spraying this berm here down and you see like the holes I drilled are holding water. But you think that you watered this, even though you sprayed it less than an inch down, it only, it just runs off the surface. It's not even soaked underneath. This berm probably sits 12, 16 inches tall. You spray water all over it, the water runs off. It doesn't soak in. That's still concrete down there. It's not concrete, but it's might as well be. You might think you're watering your plants, and you are. You're holding a hose or you're turning on a sprinkler, right? But that doesn't mean it's hitting the roots. I'm seeing it even in my raised beds. And uh, my friend Mike from Easy Peasy Podcast, you should check him out. He's on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I think. Um, he does installs of raised beds for people, you know, city folk, city folk, who the fuck with the thought I ever said that, um, like soccer moms and stuff. And he said, cause I was talking about my roller carts and I want to raise my beds up, you know? And he, he said, when you put a raised bed more than I think 16, 20 inches off the ground, I don't remember what he said, it's hotter and it dries your soil out more because the temperature is way hotter three feet off the ground than just 12 inches off the ground for a raised bed. And I'm seeing that this year, it's been so hot. We've had 100, 105, but that's just actual temperature. Like real fuel temperature, while it sits there, it actually amplifies. So if you took temperature of the soil, it's way hotter than the 105 because the sun's right on it. And I'm seeing that, I'm watering my raised beds and some of my stuff's looking pretty raggedy. And when I just scrape down, literally I'll, I will soak the bed till the beds are just pissing water. There's a just, you can hear it like rainfall coming out of those uh, raised beds. But when you get a handful of soil, the soil's just dry as can be underneath. Even though I'm using like compost and potting soil and stuff. So that's, that's the point, right? You can water this, it can look wet, but when you scrape it off, it's not even wet an inch down. So just be aware, if you're, if you're watering and your plants don't look good, that's a part of it. And you could top dress it. I mean, you could, uh, you could put wood mulch over it and it would probably help because then the sun's not hitting it and you know, cooking it. I'm just in the kitchen doing a fridge clean out and we've got a bunch of these uh, old onions. that amount and then pop these into the aquaponics and then we'll look at them again in a week or so and you'll see that they've started growing that should do all those roots are down at water level we'll come look in a few days and see what those look like finally cooled off water some things and stage some feed so that I don't have to do it tomorrow and top water up. What time is it? 9.16. All the animals are done. Still some crazy hot weather at least for here it's usually not this hot if I can just keep them through the next week or so then maybe we'll be able to have some pumpkins off of these in the next month or so normally I would cut all the grass down around these but I think the grass probably helps shade them a little bit I don't know if I'm 
helping these trees or doing them a disservice by watering them every couple days. We have no rain, no moisture at all for like about the last uh, four or five weeks. See all this rock out here? This is where all the chickens were. And I moved them twice a day, putting pumpkins on already. This is a good sign. This pumpkin here is really traveling. Seems like it's moving about a foot every day. 